I was asked the question, where do I think this industry, high-end audio, is going in the future? I believe the future is quite bright. I see a lot of young music lovers. I also see the growing passion of music. Home studios. Go to YouTube and you'll hear people doing covers of songs with wonderful, wonderful home studios. Look, Billie Eilish and her brother did that in their own home. Tremendous amount of music is being made. On my end, we need to listen to it. And what the industry's doing is trying to make it easier. It's really about um, functionality. When I got in this industry, the big controversy is, should high-end audio even have a remote? Why not? Let's make it easier to use. Let us use our engineering brains to say, how do we make it easier to use? More functional, but still sound good. Right now, we're kind of caught in this transition period of, let's just say my phone. I want to use my phone as a source. I can do that through a streaming service, like say Cobuzz, that does high resolution. So now let's take this practicality of it being ease of use and now Sonics. And that's what we're working on. That's the future of using your cell phone, but not compromising any music, having it streamed to say wireless speakers or an incredible high-end server, but actually making it easy to use so the whole family can enjoy it. It's about the music, and this system's supposed to get you closer to it. It's not supposed to be work. It's not supposed to be hard to use. You don't have to suffer to have your hobby. Let's take both of those, and that's really where the future is. Functionality, ease of use with incredible incredible sonics. Now let's look at the seeds, what I call them, the young audiophile. That's the future. How do we get them into our industry? Is being more inclusive, not so exclusive. Talking about their lifestyle and how they can use it. Instead of saying, hey, I want to listen to music on my phone, saying, that's not the way it's supposed to be. If it doesn't spin 33 and a third, it's not real. Heck with that. I don't care how you listen to it. I just want you to listen to it. And if it's you want to listen to it on your phone, I need to find the best solution with the highest fidelity you can do that. Instead of throwing my hands up in the air and say, well, I don't know what to do if you want to listen to it on your phone. So what we need to do is look at the future, the future audiophile, the future music lover, understand how they approach music and how they want to listen to it and then then add our aesthetic on top of it making it sound as good and as accurate as possible let's work in both these uh, endeavors and that is the future take care this is lenny